Hey folks, so uh, today I'm going to do a tool review on a Bosch GMS 120 uh, stud finder. Uh, oh, they call it a wall scanner. So this is, this is the product, and the reason I'm doing this review is there just aren't any reviews that actually show people using it. Um, so I want to show you what's in the box, and then I'm going to show you how the tool works. And um, uh, the reason I needed this is that I'm in a commercial environment, and this is a firewall behind me, so it's got two layers of 5 8 inch sheetrock with metal studs. Well, you know, my current stud finders didn't work, and I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on the radar-based units, so I bought this. So, um, and I picked this up through Amazon. So it comes packaged, it includes a little leash that comes with it, and it includes a battery. I've already installed the battery. Actually, I've already checked it out. It works great. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the little leash on it. You do need something to get this out of here because it's not going um, it's, to it's not going to uh, go through there without like a little screw to fish it out. So now that I've got this together, um, let me show the screen. Okay, so when you first turn it on, it is going to zero itself and then it's going to come on. Green means it hasn't found anything and it will turn different colors. It turns red when it finds a stud and it has three modes, lumber, wood, and electric. Um, and then it has a little light built in that, and um, it has a speaker which you can turn on turn off and you can switch between the different modes. Um, I'm using it in metal because again this is a metal building. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and zero it where I don't think there's a stud. And as you move across, it will decide you've reached a stud. And so, let me grab a pen. And so you can just put a little mark there, and um, I'm going to find a different stud because I actually did my test in that spot. So you, you can put the pen through here to do your mark, and it should find the stud. That looks to be about the right distance. Let's see if it's right. Yeah, there's a stud there. So that's all there is to it. It does work. It does work through two layers of 5 8 sheetrock. So that's uh, an inch and a quarter um, of sheetrock. And then it can find a metal stud behind that. And um, so if you are in a commercial environment, this is a tool that works. It uh, also does work on plumbing, and um, it was able to find copper pipes in the wall. We were doing some plumbing work, and um, let's see if it can find the electric. It thinks there might be some electric back here. Now, I happen to know that the electric runs at the bottom of this wall. Yeah, it's not, it's not doing real well on electric, so I wouldn't recommend it for trying to find electric wires. Now, this is BX cable because it's commercial, so that's the armored cable. That may be why it can't find it. Um, so if you need to find armored cable, this isn't going to help you. 
and I don't think I have any wood framed walls in here. So I'll do a separate view, review of this from my house because I have a, a spray foam insulated house and stud finders don't work on those walls. And so I'm real curious to see if it does work there. So anyway, I hope that this review is helpful for you. I did purchase mine through Amazon for about $69 um, and I highly recommend this. This is a fantastic uh, tool for me and um, it's going to save me from putting holes in the wall and not, not being able to find uh, the studs. Because I've got to put slat wall up in this whole area here in the front where my showroom is going for my t-shirt shop. So uh, thanks for watching my video. Please be sure to like my video if you enjoyed it and to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of my videos or like to catch up with me when I do a live stream on my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.